Howdy. Today we are going to pick back up where we were on putting the uh, the concourse back together because as you can see it's still all apart but hey we got new spark plugs in we got the valve cover on so the next step is going to be getting the breather hoses back in and hooked up and then we're going to fight the carburetor and connect everything all back up and then you know if that goes well which it probably won't maybe we'll start actually buttoning up the fairing pieces i'd actually like to ride my motorcycle it's been like in the 70s and i do have the other you know i've got a triumph in there that i could ride but dang it i just want to ride this one you know so let's get to it so now i gotta remember you know how this mess of stuff went um, leave goes something like this. You just gotta you know, feed it through. I said feed it, feed it through. Uh huh. And then get a breather. Goes in the air box. That's connected now. And then everything's through. Get this one lined up. Oh wait. She needs connected. There we go. Let's keep them connected and then no connected. So this hose has a clamp on it. Looks like I can get it with my fingers though. Neat. I know you can't see this it's on the other side, but take my word for it. Alright. And then we're gonna speedily, hastily, without any regard, we're gonna just start bolting things in. Because that's how you do it. These bolts look really crusty, so good thing we're putting those back in. Yeah, it's fine. So, again, as always, starting them with the fingies. Fingies are friends. I said fingers are friends. There we go. This will just make it easier when I get my, uh, my ratchet in there to just give them a couple. Yeah tighten down they'll be fine this is really awkward though admittedly okay and then I'm gonna do that on the other side I might just cut ahead because you can't see it so all right folks so we got the the main breather lines hooked up and that leads us into my least, absolute least favorite part, carburetors. I love carbs on dirt bikes, because it's one. This is four. What, is, what kind of do you got? That's maybe. Go up a little bit, sure. Uh-huh. So, I know this towel is great. Um, well, that was a little damp. Why is that damp? weird okay yeah so we got all these lines vacuum lines i definitely remember where all those go yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. these actually i do know where they go uh, everything has a purpose just gotta remember that just keep remembering that these go, that's for the tank. Um, so these boots, they can be quite a motherfucker. Oh, I almost dropped you. Hit reset. Maybe we go down a little bit more. 
sure that's a good angle. So yeah, these, these little boots here, um, quite difficult. The trick is to use a heat gun, and they're way, way more malleable. And on that note, let me go grab one. So I got it heated up. Let's just try and stuff it through. I don't know if you can see this or not. Take my word for it. That's what I'm doing over here. You get a better view when I go to the other side and pop those ones back in. This is sort of working. Sort of. There's just like a collar you gotta get through. Boop. That's how she wrote. Alright, card or yeah. Intake four and three are done. So let's heat up number two. I think I'm gonna have to do a a zip tie mod instead of having that spring. And it should be fine. Give this one a whirl. Should just slide on right in. Yep, and we're so far so good. Alright. Come on, get in there. It might help to have a screwdriver, but I'm just using my fingers. And that seems to be working okay enough. My luck, these will probably pop out when I go to shove the carburetor through this cap. That's fine, we'll just do this again. Ugh. All right, and then you can see right here, this guy has popped out a little bit. Let's see if I can get it without even hitting it with the heat. Yep. And you can see we got our spring here, spring here, and I don't know if you can, you have to take my word for it, there's one over here too. So, this is the part I've been dreading. What I'm saying is this is the part I've been dreading. I re-jetted the carbs, obviously I didn't show you that in the last video, but uh, there are much better videos on the internet of taking apart carbs. I've done it enough. Um, I feel comfortable doing it. I bought a Six Sigma jet kit for it, and it's supposed to help Mo Powell, baby. Mo Powell, yeah. baby. Mo Powell. Anyways, um, so did a couple mods to this. If you've done those jetting kits before, you know what those mods are. I am not going to cover that today. But in terms of getting this back in here, there's actually a little bit of prep work you need to do before you start just yachts. Yeah, shoving that thing in there. So let's flip me back around. So obviously we gotta hook up the throttle cables. It has a pull cable and like a return cable. I don't know, however you want to think about it. Pull and a push. And those where are those? How come I can't oh they're tucked up underneath here. So these are easy. Um easy to get for the most part. The trickier bit is gonna be hooking up our choke. That was really, really hard to get off of there. You kinda gotta finagle this little slider and hook up that. Um, it's just this, it's the same type of end as these throttle cables, but now I'm thinking about it. Where the hell, where did that choke thing go? Is this it? You know, this is it. Where's my other throttle cable? These suckers just keep on disappearing on me. <sighs> Where the hell are you? There it is. So this is our push cable. This is our pull cable. So like if you pull one, it Axe on the other kind of deal. You see? Do you see what I'm saying? And then this is our choke. I'm actually going to recommend starting with the choke. And let's hope and pray to God that this thing doesn't snap off. Um, maybe. Can I show you this while I'm doing it? Maybe. So we got this little guy here. She sits in there. Hopefully I'm going the right direction. And then, like I was saying, you kind of got to finagle this son of a bitch. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay. So you can see this thing is a keeper for that. It holds that. And when I'll just move it up here off camera, but when you move the choke lever, smooths the slide. There's a spring, you know, it seems it's pretty basic. Cool. Next. Let's see about hooking up these throttle cables. Um, I'm just gonna kind of set this in here. And then maybe we'll see about will you will you just will you stay? Sure. I'm gonna readjust the camera though so you can maybe see what, see what I'm doing a little bit better. And don't forget, this is not an educational video. <laughs> All right, so. And you might be asking yourself, why don't you just do this while, well, once you got the, the line, like once you actually have the carbs installed? And I'll tell you why. It's because it's a real motherfucker, that's why. End of story. Um, it is a real motherfucker right now, though. So, just kind of pull, pull all the slack you can, and then find the hole that it needs to go into and kind of ease it in there. I don't know how else to explain it. Fucking fantastic. So, the dealio with these guys here is that's what, you kind of got a bolt that, you see there's two, two guys here. Um, this part is a little bit more tricky. So maybe let's try to get the choke, or not the choke, the return line hooked up first before we Go ahead, trying to do them. So we've got our cableage hooked up. We obviously still have a bunch of vacuum hoses to hook up. Um, there are a couple that I think I want to do before we totally shove them in the bike. So you can see, maybe you can see, there's hose hook up here. This goes to the fuel tank there's like a it pulls a vacuum right at the petcock i don't know why don't ask me i said i don't know why you got another you know it's the same deal boop 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 and boop these are a little bit harder to get to that's why i'm thinking i might try and hook those up or not how about let's just let's just dive right in let's try and get this sucker situated We'll have to maybe play with the throttle throttle tension because it inevitably messed up now. So it's kind of an act of violence. You just gotta shove these suckers through here. I don't know how else to describe it. I've never actually put them back in, but if they're anything like the way it came out, hold on for dear life. You just really just... And like I was worried about, the intake boots come off. Fuck. Okay, but... Once I get this through enough, what's that guy do? Lovely. I feel like I just disconnected something. No fun. Obviously they don't make carbureted inline fours anymore, but still. Having this whole rack where you can't move the carbs independently makes this damn near impossible. So what I'm trying to do now is shove the whole rack 
backwards. And as you can see, I'm moving the whole fucking bike. That's how much it, this sucks. Just go home. Go to your home. All right. Sit rep. It's time for a beer. Shaking, not stirred, okay. I see you, James Bond, high life. Thank goodness it's cold. I am so sweaty. And I'm not kidding, it's not even hot out. It's like 70 something. I'm just a big sweaty man. <sighs> Alright, um. Instead of like doing the work, I'm just gonna explain to you what I got going on here. So this one obviously is already good. I don't know if you can tell. This one's kind of cockeyed there. And that cockeyedness is the damn thing not going on. So maybe if I can, yeah, I can get this in here. Well, Powell, baby. Well, Powell, baby. Well, Powell, baby. How's it going? How's work? Good? All right. Or bad. Whatever. Can't, all win. can't win them all. They can't all be good ones. Let me, uh, I'll just jump ahead. And then once I have this figured out, back on, I'll catch back up with you. I need a little break. And it's really hard to film anyways. So stay tuned. So we're back. Um, let's just double check my work here, huh? So, you know, carburetor number one's hooked up. Uh, number two, hmm. Hmm. Don't mind that duct tape. Oh, weird. Um, yeah, so that's actually factory. Straight from the factory, Kawasaki used uh, duct tape on these ones that they just don't sit right. <clears throat> <sighs> All right, I know it's janky. I'm planning it to be temporary. I realized through this process that I pulled a couple of those uh, the intake side boots out, and they're actually bent, so they don't line well up well enough to get a good seal. Well, that's me just realizing that. My valve cover seal gasket is not set correctly. Lovely. Uh, yeah. Let's go get another beer. But I don't know if you can see that. This is not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to sit more like this. You know, flush. I think this technically might seal. I don't know. I really don't want to take this all apart. Yeah, how about that beer? I'll be right back. I don't know. So, where... Where's my dangly boy that was just sitting there? There it is. This little guy. Oh, I feel like that routing is not right. That's fine. Plug that in there. This goes up. This goes, it's a fuel line, I believe. Oh, I know what that line is. That's our fuel. Um, uh, what do you call it? Whatchamacallit? It's a vacuum line. Um, I can't, I don't know if you can see it. it. It connects up here. Yeah, that that makes sense. Right? 
probably. That just sits up in there. Because, you know, you got to build vacuum. Actually, I think it might, it could be part of the emission system, if I'm being honest. Um. Hey, dumbass, you got to put that back together. Oh, excuse me. This is what living with ADHD is like. You're doing one thing, and then you move on to the other thing. And yes, I do actually have ADHD, so heck off. So now we got to deal with it. This is a... There's three separate lines here in my hand. These all go to the back of the fuel tank, which I have sitting over there. Um, they plug in the back. This plugs in a spot underneath the fuel tank. It's obvious because there's the only plug there. And then we gotta make sure that this is the fuel level sensor. I'm 99% sure. Gotta plug that in. And then we should be, uh, you know, we're making some headway here. All right, now I'm gonna need you to just back up. Give me three feet, would you? Now give me three feet. Mister. Yep, mm hmm. That's a good spot. Oh, some glasses down. Oh, hey. On that other spring thing. I know I had it somewhere, but that one I taped up anyway, so I'll keep it there for safekeeping. Don't! Mm. I just spilled my beer. Tragedy. Now that I'm thinking on it, Do I want to put the fairings back? Well, I really need to assemble this.
kind of see me over here struggling, but the windshield just does not want to go on. It is really, really hard. <sighs> so the problem is these damn things don't want to line up with the inner thing. I got one. I got one right there. But until I get like three more, it's just not gonna it's just gonna fight me. It's a little preemptive, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean up this windshield a bit because if I can't stand up to me washing it, I'm gonna stand up on the road. So, this is Plexus, not sponsored. Um, yeah, yeah, I read the directions and then. Uh, Just me. Alright. Fresh battery, but this thing is actually really warm. So I got the windshield sort of on. Sort of clean. Um, next step would be starting to put the tank back on and then maybe the fairings. Then, you know, supposedly it's done, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the tank and then run it and actually see if it runs before I put it all the way back together, right? That's thinking with your dipstick. go get some gasoline check for leaks right I just realized I didn't set the throttle mission failed we'll get them next time <sighs> well let's at least see if it runs right right no. 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 I think I've about had it today, folks. Um, three steps forward and a couple back. Um, until, you know, to be continued. It'll be a... I don't know. I'm just fucking tired. I'm gonna have another beer, eat some dinner, take a shower. But I can't. I don't have it in me to go back through and unplug all that shit. So, keep it loose, I guess. 
All right, guys, we're back. Another day here in the garage, and we're gonna continue work on the concourse, putting it back together. I know, I think I was gonna cut off the last yesterday's video and then make this a part three, but um, I think I'm close enough that I'm just gonna try to get this all done in, you know, one video. So, ain't nothing to it but to do it. So let's get started. That there, folks, is proud because it's in neutral. Oh, now it works randomly. Wait, if I put the clutch in, oh, now, now it's working. Oh, I need to prime the system again. There is a prime, so it doesn't have all three as prime. You know, that makes sense. Steady stream of oil. 
<sighs> so that's not good. But I'm hoping I can not tear the whole bike apart to fix that. Seems to me like it needs more of that gasket maker to help seal it. Which, you know, that's fine. But now, I'm more than concerned about this idle. It seems like I need to adjust that idle. Maybe that's, I don't know, work on other carbs. Maybe it's this dial right here I can help. It might help. I don't know. But you could tell it didn't even want to rev up. Something ain't right. That is no good. No good at all. Now I'm just sitting and pondering. 